under the sunny honeymoon another season another reason for making whoopee a lot of shoes a lot of rides the groom is nervous he answers twice it's really thrilling that he's so willing to make whoopee picture a little love nest down where the roses cling picture the same sweet love nest and think what a year can bring he's washing dishes baby clothes he's so ambitious man even so well, that's what you get, folks. <laughs> Don't forget, let's make it whoopee. Another year, maybe less. What's this I hear? Oh, I bet you can guess. She feels neglected, and he suspected of me. You know, he doesn't phone, doesn't write, stay out late almost every night. He says he's busy, and she says, is he? Oh, he's making it. He don't make much money. Only about $20,000 a year, and you know, that ain't a lot of loot these days. Some judge who thinks he's funny says, boy, you're gonna pay 25 to her. He says, now judge, suppose I fail. The judge says, boy, it's going to land your ass right into jail. I think it's cheaper, you ought to just keep her, than make a whoopee. So I used to sing this a lot at the senior homes that I would play at, and, and I'd have them sing along. So, you know, you'd, you'd come up to that point, well, don't forget, folks, that's what you get, folks. And they'd all go, for making whoopee, right? And I'd go, good job, right? Well, I was working in a Alzheimer's facility one day, and there was a bunch of folks, it was like 30 or 40 people, and uh, they were doing pretty good, but then all of a sudden they didn't, they didn't come in with making whoopee when it was time to make the whoopee. And so I hollered at him. I said, don't act like you forgot. Of course, see, this is an Alzheimer's unit, so that probably was not the coolest thing to say. Great moment in Fabland. Oh.